today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to remove the background in Affinity Photo. And if you watch till the end, I'm gonna show you an unknown but very powerful technique to make pixel perfect masks. So I've got this image of this puffin right here. And what I want to do is I want to select my selection brush tool, um, which is this icon in the toolbar. Um, but you can also select it by pressing W on the keyboard. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the width uh, of your brush or the size of your brush, you can do it here in the context toolbar. So you can click this little arrow and then drag to the left and to the right. But a preferred way for me to do it is by using the bracket key. So I'm going to use my right bracket key in order to increase my brush size. And you can decrease the brush size by using the left bracket key. So I'm going to increase the brush size quite a bit. And what I want to do is just drag over my subject. Just like so. Now I'm going to decrease the brush size to uh, tackle the feet. And if I want to zoom in, I can press Command plus on the keyboard to zoom in. And now I'm just going to pan to the bottom. If you're working with a mouse, what you can do is hold shift and then click drag to go to the bottom of your screen. And now I'm just going to continue with my selection. So I'm going to decrease the brush size again with the left bracket key um, to cover the toes, let's say, and the nails. And you can see that I selected a little bit too much right here. And we can fix that right now. So there are two ways to fix this. Either you can go up to the context toolbar again and select the mode subtract. So this one is add and next to it is subtract. So you can either click this one or what you can do if the mode is on add, what you can do is hold alt or option on your keyboard and then click drag over the part that you selected too much and it will deselect whatever you have selected too much. So let's do this paw as well or foot, claw, whatever they have. And just select this a little bit. I selected too much again, so I'm gonna hold alt and click drag over the part that I selected too much. There we go. Let's scroll to the top. Well, here I missed a little part. Let's scroll to the top. Here I missed this little feather and i missed this little bit here as well all right now this looks pretty good um i pressed command zero to zoom out now if you want to check your selection you can go up to the toolbar and the toolbar is the top part of your screen and you can press this button right here which toggles quick mask mode you can see that it also has a keyboard shortcut which is q now if you want to help remember your keyboard shortcuts which i would highly recommend then i've made the workflow booster cheat sheet for you which you can download for completely free link is down below in the video description so i'm going to press q on the keyboard and now you can see that everything that is red is deselected and everything that is in normal color is selected and if you want to change the overlay you can click this little arrow icon and you can change show mask as black which turns the background to black or to white or to transparent as you can see but i'm going to keep it to the normal overlay now honestly this looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press q again to leave quick mask mode again and you can see that this feather isn't perfectly selected and there are multiple bits of this image that aren't perfectly selected so i want to tackle that as well now up here in the context toolbar you find the refine button so i'm gonna refine my selection by pressing this button and you can see the red background appear again and now this window pops up and you can change the same overlays right here as well. So you can go to uh, black, white, black and white in this case and transparent. But I'm just going to go to the normal overlay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit using the command plus keyboard shortcut. And I'm just going to brush with my matte brush selected, which is here in the dialog box. I'm just going to brush over this bit a little bit to um, have to let have uh, affinity photo a closer look at it. So I'm gonna increase my brush size a little bit and let's see if there's other parts that we need to tackle. This bit right here kind of looks kind of blurry, but I'm just gonna brush over it to see if we can get a better selection. This looks pretty good. And this all looks pretty good. All right, let's zoom out by pressing command zero. And I'm gonna hit apply in the dialogs box. Now, 
to remove the background there's one step left and that is to hit the mask icon right here and you can see that we've removed or masked out in this case the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make uh, deselect my selection so you can either do that by hitting this red cross in the top or pressing command d on your keyboard or, or control d on windows so i'm going to click this little icon now if i want to double check my mask you can see that my mask is right here in my layers panel if i hold alt or option and i click on the layer thumbnail which is this little square right there and um, you can view your mask so if i zoom in a little bit you can actually see that there's little bits of the mask that aren't perfect so we could fix these there's a little stripe right right here and here at the bottom there are a little few little artifacts that we can tackle right now now because we are working in a mask as you can see everything that's white is shown and everything that is black is hiding so this also means that if we grab our brush tool our paintbrush tool which is this icon right here you can brush in with black if you want to hide stuff and you can brush in with white if you want to show stuff so i'm gonna make my brush a whole lot smaller and i'm just gonna brush over the parts that i don't want inside of my uh, mask let's say so take care or take your time doing this because the better your mask is the better your um, image looks in the end and if you want to check the image again you just have to click any other layer and now you can see it so you can see that this looks kind of messy right here so i'm gonna make my brush a whole lot smaller and i'm just gonna whoops make sure you select your mask and I'm just gonna mask out bits here and there to make it look better. Also here, around this nail, and here. And you just want to fine tune your mask as good as you can, basically. All right, so this looks pretty decent. Let's go to the other foot. There's some things that we can fix right here. Whoops. Command Z to um, to undo. There we go. There we go. And this looks pretty good to me. Whoops. Now, if you want to swap between black and white, what you can do is press X on the keyboard or you can hit these uh, little arrows here. But I prefer to use keyboard shortcuts, so I'm going to press X and I'm just going to, um, yeah, swap. Make a little nail here. So this looks pretty okay. As you can see, the the edges aren't too sharp. So if I want, I could make them sharper. Now there's one nice little trick that I want to show you before I leave. Let me go into my mask again. So I'm going to hold Alt and go into the mask. You can see that we've got this kind of gray, out, a gray line here. So that means that these pixels are kind of transparent. Now what you can do with your brush tool, and this is kind of an advanced tip, but what you can do is you can change the blend mode from normal to overlay and what this does is it basically just tackles the half transparent pixels so the partially transparent pixels so if i'm gonna increase my brush size now you can see that what affinity photo will do it will actually tackle um just the image uh, just the pixels on the inside so i'm going to increase decrease my brush size a little bit i'm just gonna brush over these parts and you will see that we get this very nice um very nice harsh line and this makes our selection in the end just a whole lot sharper basically so if you go all around your image you can see in the end that we get a really nice a sharp selection of our subject All right, so once I'm done, I'm gonna click on any other layer and now you can see that we've got a very nice and sharp selection of our subject. Hello. I hope you found it useful. If so, give it a like and of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more Affinity Photo content. See you in the next one.